Welcome back to the organization. We have a small situation on our hands, which has grown to be more than small. And I need to meet this randy random spam dumb with some spam of my own. So I am building a very thick Chinese wall to these investors until we can manage to get some sort of orbital strike beacon or massive set of IED traps or whatever have you so that we can deal with this bullshit. Uh, until then, our ship is coming along and it is almost done. We just need an AI Persona core if we want to get off of this godforsaken planet. And a few more advanced components and perhaps a few other items when we finish researching them. But we are almost finished with this game! For this godforsaken game, which I have tried for th three years to beat. Three years I have not beaten- well, I have not really attempted it that much, but three years I've owned it and I don't think we ever got off the planet. Um, so let's wait for either boomalopes, boom rats, or some- oh yes, a plan. I should explain a plan that I've been making. So I was thinking that we would use an orbital strike beacon, except we don't have one, so the next option is a massive set of IED explosives, which requires chem fuel, which we don't have. Uh, there are also no boomalopes around here, so we won't be getting any anytime soon. So the next solution, uh, just almost as good, is to build a wall and then a shitload of spike traps after that, because I'm just running out of ideas, getting less creative by the day, and so on and so forth. So, it's either AI Persona Core, Boomalopes, or a shitload of traps until we can figure something out. Well, I figure for the life of me, why not just create the world's most massive array of spike traps? Because I want to. Good job, Butch. Maybe we'll survive this somehow. And fortunately, they are digging into the other side of the mountain and not closer to me. We have met with an exotic goods trader to whom we can trade all of our organs. I accept this. We're getting a lot of plasteel and gold, which we need, and a few more advanced components to get working on this ship. And a master trader named Ademus calls us from nearby. He is being chased by tribespeople from the Alliance of Galga. He begs for safety and offers to join. He's 50. There's no time to collect any more information. He's being chased by berserkers, penitents, and warriors, which sounds kind of funny. So let's see, are you a psychopath? He is not a psychopath, and he has no clothes on. He has four things of Luciferium, which, ah, uh, we'll have him drop it and then go. I mean, this shit is so evil. Like, we don't ever want to fuck with this shit, but it is so valuable, too. So we want to trade it to somebody, but we'll lock it away in a room or beat the hell out of anybody who tries to take it. Uh, very, very valuable summons. Okay, Addy Amos, you are, uh, betrayed now. And the raid has begun. Oh, ah, uh, they are still... Why do we have all this lizard skin out here? Now, they are still coming out. I was told that this is supposed to work. They're supposed to just kidnap him, but... Alas, it did not. Uh, John Stamos, get out here. Everybody is drafted. We're gonna go back this man up. Let's get Butch over here. Everybody's within range. We can start just pounding away at them. Great, and we got Dingleberg, Mr. Krabs. I believe Mr. Krabs is pregnant now, right? She's an attack bore, nonetheless. Um, mm. Let's... Yeah, hold the line, hold the line. Now, who else is here? Evil Jim. Oh, Evil Jim, you get in on this? Uh, but he has Molotov cocktails. You have to make work. Okay. Uh, everybody get in. Everybody in. Let's just knock out as many as we can at a time. Everybody attack this guy. Just mess up his day. Now this guy, I think when you start to kill a certain number, the attrition may cause them to leave, unless if they're on a quest for revenge, which I hope is not true. Other than that, we're probably gonna end up killing all of our animals. Let's get that red guy. Great, he's setting fires. They're all on fire. Oh, this day could not get much worse. Um, good. Good. Oh, crap, all the animals are dead. Okay, John Stamos and Squidward get back behind the line. Good job, John Stamos and Squidward. Ah, uh, we should have set our own whole base on fire. Let's throw it. Yes! Yay! Okay, John Stamos, I hope you're alive. 
I mean, he got hit with an Iqua, but that's really quite minor. Uh, let's stop shooting. Are there any psychopaths worth saving? Underground or quick sleeper? Optimus pretty... I don't really want ones who are on fire, otherwise I'm gonna have to do an Anakin Skywalker. Uh, what are you wearing? Well, really? No psychopaths. Okay, that's fine. Uh, goodbye. Raid again. Again? What in the world? We just got- we just got raided one second ago. Well, they're all tribes people, so let's go over to the other side. And maybe they'll meet the- no, they, conveniently they did not meet up with the other ones. This is just like Randy Random. Okay, John Stamos is gonna die in 13 hours, but I'm gonna get him in bed anyway, because I don't want him to die. Uh, actually, get into the... Mm, get into the crypto sleep casket. Unless if- are you, uh, no, you aren't any of the animals, master. The boars are all just gonna die. Sorry, boars. Squidward will live. Aunt Flanders is dead, Dinkleberg is dead, but we gotta think about this other raid. We got another raid on our hands. Okay, the Flying Dutchman, you get there. Squidward, you stand there. Evil Jim, you stand there. And everybody's happy. Okay, good. Nev Neville is just attempting to put out the fires. That's all fine. Let's go all go after one guy. Uh, great job. Let's get another one. Gabil.com. Gabblecom. There he blows. And these ones, come on, turret. Do your job. Do your job, turret. Two raids in ten minutes. I can't believe my luck. Well, I guess this will start to happen as we get closer to endgame. And they're fleeing. Good job, Dimitri. Wild boars all dying. Wow, we've killed every single attacker and they haven't even... The animals have done a great job. I'm just gonna let the rest be autumn. Come on, maximum overdrive. The squirrel. Oh no, all my animals are dying. And I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing. That's not- it's not worth my- my sanity. I think everybody else is just about dead. Oh no! Dinkleberg 2 is miscarried! Well, I don't want any of these other, uh, colonists. There's no psychopaths. Unfortunately. Alpaca, that's a person. Oddly enough. Okay, we'll just let them clean up this mess, heal themselves. I think... This is occupied by John Stamos. As soon as Dimitri takes care of all of the other animals, we'll get John Stamos out of there. And look at the fires. And cool. Okay. As if this could not get much worse. Um, I'm okay with losing a couple of these boars. Honestly, we had too many boars. I don't... I don't want to fuck with that. Beating the fire out, um... Eh, you know what? Does Dinkleberg 2 have time? Nah, I don't think... Yeah, you know what? Screw it, let's give her. Furniture, animal sleeping spots, we'll put them down. Neville, rescue her. Great job, okay, let's go care for her. No, Dimitri, you get tender. Okay, let's get that one animal. We'll save one animal from all this. And then we'll save John Stamos. Nah, I'm not even gonna worry about the organs. I just wanna... I wanna get to the rocket ship and the infestation next. A combat supplier has passed nearby with a lot of high explosive shells. We're going to buy 20 from him so that we can install a wall of IEDs on the side of our base. We're putting IEDs here, 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 here. And here, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got two more, actually three more. Let's put them here and here and here. Good. And we finally managed to get a sarcophagus for Adiamus the traitor. The sarcophagus, I cannot say that word, is engraved within an image of a campsite. A chicken poses beneath the main subject. The overall composition is really fucking... It is an excellent thing. Great! For some reason I find this to be so satisfying. Let's have Evil Jim just burn all of the bodies in here. And since it's indoors, he should be okay. 
Oh no, they are following him since he's drafted. Let's all get out of here. Great, the indoors should keep the fire going despite the fact that it's raining and we need to get rid of more bodies over here. The reason I put the sarcophagus right here is because they often visit it and I don't want them to go too far out of their way because when you do have buried colonists, it starts to trigger all kinds of new events. Uh, more uh, incendiary things. For some reason, I just find this so satisfying. Utterly satisfying. And for some reason, Dimitri wandered into the fire and got burned all just all over. Don't ever put dead bodies in there. Damn, John Stamos got burned by superheated air too. We really gotta be more careful with this area. Now we need only a few more advanced components to get to all of the advanced components that we need for our ship to get into space. So we're gonna fabricate these at the fabrication bench. Once we're done with that, the last item that we'll need is the AI Persona Core. So we're, we'll have only that and a massive infestation between us and victory. Well, Butch did a great job. We managed to set up all of these spike traps. We're just gonna keep on spamming them. Yep, well, that ought to do it, sort of. Let's chop down another Amazon rainforest's worth. Happy day, an exotic goods trader has passed nearby and they happen to have a doomsday rocket launcher. A single use rocket launcher that fires a massive explosive projectile, good against large groups of soft targets, starts fires. V possibly good for taking out this infestation. I'm going to take this thing because it might be our reckoning. Um, we'll give it, I think since Dimitri has been the leader of the colony, it's most appropriate that he uses it. Let's also just have him haul back the assault rifle, very good. And there is another pirate merchant passing nearby. Great job. Uh, I have no idea what we'll even give to him. Is this the exact same person? Okay, we will leave that, that's fine. Very well. Uh, we have most of what we need. I'm not gonna feel safe firing this thing until we have another good uh, hundred or so traps between us and them. And we have one, two, three IEDs out here in the field, so we'll make a few avenues for them to get to us. But I'm thinking maybe I will go on the offensive now that we've found this thing. Okay, grizzly bear has been hunting our animals, so we, there's no real option right here. We have to set this thing on fire. Damn it. Uh, good. Okay, grizzly bear down. Happy day. Unfortunately, he managed to kill Maximum Overdrive and Boris, the Greek boar. But we will use it for... Uh, no, we won't really want to rescue it. Let's just shoot it to death. Or beat it to... Either way. Either way's fine. Great job. Bear pelts for everyone. And another raid. Uh, in drop pods? Uh, how are they? Are uh, They're pretty well armed. Yeah, these guys are... Uh, oh. They're not too good. Well, we do have IEDs up there. We have two IEDs that I could use. I think I'll stand people back, try to have them hit the IEDs in retreat, but I don't really want to fight another one and have too much more manpower lossage. Squidward kind of got trapped out here, I guess. Oh, his left leg was just When was Squidward's left leg destroyed? I didn't even notice that. I the turret just fired straight at him, for Christ's sake. Um, no, ooh, he's gonna get caught in the IED. Shit, no, I don't want Squidward to die. Fuck. Okay, everybody get back. Further back, let the boars defend us, let them run onto the IEDs. If only I had known that your left leg was destroyed, that would have been very helpful. Um, can we get them to step on the IED still? Ah, oh, shit, now they're gonna, they're gonna fuck up Squidward. No, oh, don't run into the grenade. Okay, they're gonna try to- no, they're gonna try to kidnap Squidward, so then we gotta- we gotta fight him. Let's see if we can- Ah, uh, no, not how I pictured this. Not how I pictured this at all! Save Squidward! Save him! Great, okay, Squidward is back. Let's get Evil Jim to rescue Squidward. Mm, good. They're still kidnapping who they can. What are they leaving now, John Stamos? Don't- don't worry about the fire, you worry about yourself, son. Alright, let's get out of here. Dimitri is fine, I think he was just pacing the hall. Evil Jim, well done, well done, well done. Okay, and you are fleeing. Wonderful, wonderful work. More just shitty, shitty raids. Alright, now we can get him a replacement leg, maybe. Fuck, John Stamos just stepped on the IED. 
John Stamos, why? Why would you step on an IED, John Stamos? No. That's just don't, like, they sh that shouldn't happen. No one else go near that. Uh, you know what, Francis? You. Oh, it's not in the home area. Why would you go to extinguish a fire on top of an IED? That's not that smart. Stay away from that other IED. John Stamos is dead, and we can't change that. Unfortunately. What did he have? He had, uh. Well, he didn't have any weapon on him. But for Christ's sake! What happened to Francis, too? Shit, okay, well, you know what, we're bringing him in, we're bringing him in. Rescue him. Rescue him. Medical emergency on Francis. Not happy about this, not happy about this, not happy about this. He's gonna die in three hours. Everybody's left leg. We're, we are falling apart right here. We just gotta get this doomsday rocket launcher and kill the infestation before- Ooh, they are- have already escaped to the other side. But there's nothing there. Well, that's great. Bush is finishing up the reactor, which is an enormous pile of bullshit, which requires ingredients from all around the map, and we are being raided. Really? Tries people? Tries people? Alright, whatever. We'll- we'll leave for this. We'll leave for it. Okay, everyone get ready to fire, because these people are not that good. I hope they're not that good. Oh, why would you use incendiaries on Francis? That's not a great idea, but fortunately it did get them too. Francis, are you okay? Death in 10 hours, he should be fine. Good, he's down, so he will just be on regular fire. Uh, actually, we want to... Mm, I don't know how much I'm liking fire as, as a normal weapon. It's just that these people, like, normally they would retreat much more quickly. Let's just extinguish the fire on Francis. And save Francis' life, for Christ's sake. Good, good, good. Okay, everybody's happy then. Is this guy a uh, psychopath? Nope. All right, back to work. No major wounds. Uh, fuck. The left arm of Francis somewhere along the line. <laughs> I don't know in the world you can just not notice that someone's missing an arm or a leg. We're missing a, a few appendages now. You know, we could do prosthetics, but I think we're just so close to being in space that it's- We'll just see if we can just soldier on. Butcher is doing perfectly fine, and he's the- he's the arms and the legs of this colony. That's what matters. As is Dimitri. One gunshot, that's it. Well, I have a new plan involving fire to deal with our impending doom in the south. Okay, we're just gonna load up all of this wood in this area. Okay, I'm fixing to try some weirdo shit right now. I'm gonna put you there. You there, you there, and you there. Now, you could probably see what I'm about to try to do. Dimitri has the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. We're going to see if we can do a major number to the uh, infestation. If we can, he'll wipe out a lot of them. It might mean that Dimitri dies. I warn you right now. Um, Butch is going to set... Uh, though I don't, I don't know what else to do. I, it's so appropriate that he goes down with this. It would be like... I don't know, all of the villains who have died for their cause. Now, he's gonna take a little time to wind up his shot. He'll shoot whatever's here. I'm gonna have him shoot the front, just to do a major number on them. Run back. Francis is gonna shoot incendiaries here, as will Butch and Evil Jim, hopefully setting this entire thing on fire. They're gonna stampede into my base, but they should all be lit on fire, and then we're all gonna run back into the base. Now, Squidward is missing a leg, but Squidward's in bed, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. And I figure, what have I got to lose? Because we're gonna have to deal with this at some point anyway. And I think that this is a, a fairly decent... A, de a decent chance that this will work. We just gotta keep Dimitri right here. In fact, let's not even have him move. Let's just have him stay right there. Evil Jim, why don't you set up... Set on fire the surrounding things. As will Butch, and then as will Francis. Um... Dimitri's gonna have to escape around here, and then they'll set this central part on fire. Now, Dimitri's gonna fire right in the middle of them. Okay, everybody get ready. It should take them less time to shoot than him. And now, okay, we're gonna pause, because now, oh man, Francis missed. Shit, that's not good. Um, Keep, keep trying. <laughs> we don't really have much opportunity here. Uh, you guys are gonna have to set this shit on fire. Dimitri's out, so he's gonna go around. 
And actually, Butch can go in further. Because we have to set this central pass on fire now. You set that on fire. I don't care if Dimitri goes on fire, quite honestly, because, uh... Whoa, he needs time to recover from that? Oh, shit. Damn. Okay, then you shoot, shoot almost directly at Dimitri. Whoa, holy crap, but at least we got this pass set on fire. We set everything on fire. Set everything on fire, please, for Christ's sake. Okay, everybody just shoot fire right at the spot where Dimitri's at. I'm sorry, I gotta do it. There's no other real way. Okay, this whole area is on fire now. We have to get out of here. The fire should spread. Let's just give them as much time as they can to set themselves on fire. Dimitri's dead. Oh, fuck, is Butch dead too? Now they might set off these IEDs. Fortunately, we have the animals here to defend us, though, for a little longer. And now the fire should start to spread, okay? Dimitri's definitely dead from this, but it's... You know, he goes down like Anakin Skywalker. Except he never turned good. Wow, man, the regular traps didn't work at all. Holy cow. Well, at least they're all on fire. They had to walk through enough fire. The problem is that they're aggroed through fire, so they can only go one way. Now, these ones should get themselves killed. Let's see if we can get... Butch is kind of screwed up, but he's no immediate danger. So let's see if we get everybody else to actually fight them right in front of our base, because we could. That's not too many Mega Scarabs. Or, eh, that's actually quite a lot of Mega Scarabs. Oh, shit. Um, okay, everybody hide out in the main room. <laughs> Fuck it. Actually, get on the entirely the other side of the base, because we need to use everything else at our disposal. Fuck. Well, this should kill enough of them. For it to have been worth it. Man, look at all those other ones. They're mostly dead. Mostly. Let's try to take them out one by one. This one doesn't look too tough here. Let's see how much we can do to them. They're going, taking on the turret. Good. It looks like those ones fell for the IED. And all the ones back here should be set on fire. And they're setting progressively more fires as they run back into their base. Can we just take out a couple of these? Ah, uh, for crying out loud. We're gonna end up destroy- Oh fuck, they're destroying our ship, too! No! Okay, back in- back in the house. Back in the house, fuck. Man, I didn't expect them to destroy the ship. We did take out most of the infestation! I wonder if we, like, let them destroy shit for long enough, will they eventually just go home? Or will they take out all of our expensive shit? Well, we knew Dimitri was dead. Flying Dutchman the Wild Boar is dead. I guess we could have set our crop field on fire, but then that would have pretty much been setting our sh uh, saying goodbye to our ship anyway. Well, that was outrageously successful in taking out the, uh, the vast majority of them. Some of them did not go on fire, though, unfortunately. God damn it, now it's spreading to the rest of the colony. Man, it's so much fire, so much wonderful fire, though. Wonderful fire. Maybe if they somehow stop getting aggro, they'll leave the ship without destroying it. We'll be- No, I needed that! You asshole. Well, they're at least setting themselves on fire. You know, we'll be set back a ship, but no more infestation. Jesus. All right, well, let's just see if they somehow turn back and don't destroy our home. Wow, we got sick from the flu? Really? The flu. The flu is gonna kill me right now. Classic RimWorld death. Classic. Okay, this is no longer for prisoners. We're just all sleeping in here from now on. Everybody's undrafted. Get to bed. For Christ's sake. Uh, you go to bed. No, he's not injured. You go to bed. Neville, are you sick? You go to bed, too. Okay, three people got the flu. Francis, just stand guard, man. Just stand guard as they crush your hopes and dreams. And pray that they set themselves on fire. This should have worked. This should have worked. If only we could have more rapidly set them on fire. Damn it. Um... I mean, it's beautiful for what we did manage to do to them. Are they gonna- is it gonna set the hives on fire? It looks like it is setting their hives on fire, and it's gonna start spreading now. Can you all go home? 
Please? Can you please all go home instead of destroying mine? Pretty please? God damn it! You gotta defend your hives before they all get destroyed. <laughs> please so much? Oh, and it's raining, Randy. Thank you. Thank you so much. The lights are now out. Okay, they are in the main room. Wow, that was interesting. Really a beautiful, beautiful way to, they took out the ship. We all have the flu? Oh, man. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. It's another classic room. I think we got further than we did before. We did, you know, like, we accomplished our main goal. We committed evil upon the world. Is Dimitri still there? No, he was literally burned to a crisp. Um, we may still yet take out the hives. If we destroyed the hives, Neville may still live. Squidward is fine, too. It is, uh, notable. Nope, he, not for long. Everyone died of the flu. Mega spiders ruined my day again. But we probably took out more than survived. I think that we did actually manage to kill more than, uh, than survive that whole thing. We probably killed about a hundred of them. And I would say about 50 to 100 survived. Which is not bad, but it's still not really winning. So... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's all I have to say about that. I guess uh fuck. In the future, now like that was a good plan. That was a good plan. But in the future, I think for playthrough 4 or playthrough 5, take out infestations the moment that they occur. I'll probably do that. Uh I think fire was good, but I think orbital strike beacon would have been better. But we don't have one. And I say, get the AI Persona Core as soon as possible. I just don't think I knew about the AI Persona Core. Other than that, we had almost everything that we needed for the ship. Because there were so many other annoying things. Uh, that would have been a big wait. But, hell yeah. I mean, you know what? Further than last time, every single series, I'm proud to say that we've gotten further. In my very first one... They died because he got attacked by a squirrel. In my second series, they died because of a large infestation we weren't prepared for and we made a big mistake. But this one was a, a, a pretty well-executed plan, except there were just way too many. Like, that's about as much as you can do with that many. In the third series, what do we go? Oh, mechanoids. It was mechanoids. We did manage to survive mechanoids this time. But uh, in this one, it was just the infestation. It's the infestation. So that was four, f two out of four have been infestations, one was a squirrel, one was mechanoid. So I'd say that in the next series, we're due for a victory. Anyway, um, I'm thinking it's going to involve drugs or Star Wars. I can't really decide because they're both great. Um, let me know what you think should be the next challenge in the comments. I'm, I've, <laughs> I am upset. We got so- we got so many of them. I'm mainly upset because we got so many of them, and we didn't manage to completely wipe them out. We got so close to completely wiping them out, and look, I mean, they might still even take them- We have a two-tile spread radius on the fire, is that gonna- I don't think that fire can hop from here to here, so I think that's it. They will still keep some of their hives, but fire otherwise would have been a great solution, just if we had used it earlier. But it looks like they've taken another base again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. We will win. We will win someday. Or set another goal. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, my name is Ambiguous Amphibian. I hope you enjoyed the series. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.